You know, the shuttle was a magnificent technology development in 1981. Part of the problem was the U.S. held on to the shuttle for 30 years. And in 2011, the shuttle was not such a magnificent technology development anymore because NASA kept holding on to the old technology until finally President Bush had to say, we're going we're gonna to stop doing it. The space shuttle, after nearly 30 years of duty, will be retired from service. And I think there's a parallel there with the light water reactor. You know, we built a hundred some odd light water reactors between the 70s and the 80s and a few into the 90s. And as, as you've seen uh, from our visit to Oak Ridge, there's talk about extending those reactors 60 and 80 years. And you get into the same sort of uh, argument of diminishing returns. How long do you hold on to the old technology? I, I, I don't see the trajectory as serving any purpose because there are processing disadvantages, there are engineering disadvantages, there are material science disadvantages. All of those things are non-issues if you adopt a truly fluid fuel slash cooling system, whether you're in space or on the moon or on Mars. You need something that is basically stupid proof, right? It's idiot proof. And all of the redundancy that is involved in solid fuel reactors is basically eliminated.